Welcome in. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say hi to Parker Darlington, who I have not seen in quite some time, but the last time I did see him, it was along with his son, who was whizzing a Little League fastball at 70 miles an hour past my ear. Parker, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good, thank you. Yeah, pull that a little bit closer to you. Come on up closer. to my microphone so everybody can hear you real nice. Was that on right. purpose? Did you uh, <laughs> did you anger him somehow, or were you the umpire? Why did the ball go by your ear? Uh, I was calling the game, uh, and I could hear the fastball go by because his, <laughs> his son has a little, shall we say, advanced in Little League. Uh, I think he threw an eight-inning no-hitter the one game. Wow, that I that I covered, if I remember that in the little yes. league tournament, uh, I can't imagine how many. How is how old is Mark now? Thirty something. So twenty five <laughs> years ago, probably, right? <laughs> Rob, you were calling games when you were seven. I was calling games when I was not seven. No, <laughs> there was a seven at the end of the age, but not uh, not with a zero in front of it. So yeah, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway, good to see you, Parker. Ted, how are you this morning? I'm great. Great to have you with us. You guys are with the uh, Beddington Ruritan Club. And, uh, I'm sorry, Tuscarora. Tuscarora. My, <laughs> my apologies. Uh, I know a friend, Bob Thomas, is with the Beddington uh, mm -hmm. one. And uh, you got some, some stuff coming up, some activities and some fundraisers, too. Yep. We have uh, this coming Saturday, we have the, a drive for the rescue mission here in Martinsburg to raise uh, all kind of stuff for them. Uh, any kind of paper goods, uh, any kind of deodorant, soap, anything that's non-perishable. Mm -hmm. We, uh, I did it last year. We did a really, and we did, we, last year was our first year we did it, and we did really good with it. We, uh, we figured we raised almost $3,000 worth of uh, stuff, which we thought was real mm -hmm. good. This year we're hoping to outdo that, you know, whether it will or not uh, is another question, but uh, we're trying, we're trying to get the word out there. You know, this is great for you all to help us out like this. Certainly. Uh, and uh, this past month, we made a – the club is all – what do you want to call it? It's all donations. We don't uh, – we raise money, but we don't – nobody at our club gets paid. It all goes to charity. Sure, you're all volunteers. Uh, all volunteer work. And uh, we gave them uh, $1,000 last last month Yeah. to uh, help them out. And, uh, to the we, rescue mission. To the rescue mission, yeah. Very nice. And, and Parker, you brought in some cookies? Yes, my uh, my wife knows how you guys like pastries around here. Oh, so we, she's baked some cookies for you guys. Yeah, feeding us is the best way to deal with us. There you, <laughs> there you go. Now, I promised Bob while I pass this plate down after... I got it open. So, Matt, if you'll, if you'll take it. I didn't make that promise. I didn't. <laughs> it makes it to Bodwell. I can just stop him right here. Yeah, yeah. that's okay, you too. Didn't? You got to take one first, Matt. I can't. No, no, put, go, put, go put for it. it. Put them in between there. I don't oh, want to chew on oh, the air. Those are beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm definitely going to have three or four as soon as we get off the air. He's supposed to bring me cookies last week, and he forgot. Yeah, give one to Ted. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Ted. Let's get Ted in on this game, too. Right? Uh, oh, they uh, smell great. Uh, Ted, how long have you been doing this, uh, volunteering with the Ruritans? I've been there eight years, I think it is now. Uh, I really, I, I retired three years ago. So what did I, you do? I worked at Kraft Foods for 20 years. Mm -hmm. I worked for Jefferson and Stroman for about 20 years before, or say 15 years before that. Yeah. And, uh, you have a beer, really, beer and a snack. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, really, I did, you don't have, when I worked, I didn't have a lot of time to do things. So this year, they needed a president, and I guess I volunteered myself, or I got volunteered to be president. I don't know. Somehow, Everybody stepped somehow, back in the line, and somehow, you were left on the Somehow head. it all worked out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we're moving forward, and we have we have done a lot with the club in the past two or three years. Yes. Yeah. Parker, how long have you been with the club? Almost two years. How'd you, um, how'd you get involved? Well, Ted, I talked him into yeah. it. <laughs> Ted and I do a lot of hunting and fishing together and things, and he kept on me, to, why don't you join the Tusker, uh, the Ruritan, so... Mm -hmm. One evening, I told him, I said, well, I think I'm going to join. And I'm glad I did. It, it's it, it's really fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. keeps me busy. So uh, it's a service organization, obviously. What, what's a Ruritan? Ruritan is basically it, it's for a country, faith, and the community is what we're about. Yeah. It's what we try to take care of. Uh, no, this coming month, coming up in April, we're doing a scholarship dinner. We usually give out uh, scholarships to two or three children mm -hmm. to the high school. We do, we take, we do right now, we're doing, we take applications from all four high schools. So um, we'll have that going on in April. And we have, our meeting is the sec, second Monday of every month. So it's April 8th this coming month. Are you accepting new members? Yes. Yes. Yes, very much so. We, anybody who's interested in joining, just come out the second Monday of every month. And as a bonus, there's a meal 
serve to oh. provide it bef uh, before the meeting starts. So you get a meal and a meeting. Is your wife so, making the desserts? Sometimes she does. Sometimes she doesn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> this time she did. <laughs> yeah. We, how many uh, How many members do you have? Uh, th we're down, what, like 34, 33 members now? Yeah, we're now? right in there at 34. We've lost, we, we have a lot of older gentlemen. Yeah, we have, we have, we're starting to get them some younger people now, too. But uh, we're running in there it's around 34 people right now. The other year we got down to, we had like almost 17 people. We got down because we had uh, was just, everybody was just older people. We have gotten a lot of response. Since we've gotten more involved with the community, it seems like people are seem to be turning out a little bit better for mm -hmm. us. Where, where is the Tuscarora River Town? Where do you guys meet? It's at, um, it's, well, the address, I have it written down here somewhere. It's 8316. Yes, <laughs> Tuscarora Park. Park. And it's uh, right behind the, uh, there's a church hall there, and we sit right behind the church hall. Uh, there's a little road that goes back. There's a basketball court back there and uh, a series there's a couple um, soccer goals in the field too and you guys are out there if you're going out that way to the on the left side you correct yeah, yes. the yeah. I've, I've played basketball out there before mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. that's a nice spot we're trying to resurface our basketball court we're working on that right now uh we have raised we've do, started doing spaghetti dinners to raise money for that we've raised a good bit we're hoping to get it done this year uh to get the basketball court resurfaced, we're gonna have to. It's been there. I used to go out there and play when I was a kid. That's one of the reasons, probably, I joined the Tuscarora River Town. That and my, my neighbor talked me into it. And uh, we would just go out there and play when we were kids. Basketball, I thought, you know, it's just something to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. there. The court's kind of cracked up some now, it's all concrete. And we're they told us what we have to do, we're gonna tear all that out. And we're going to put all new blacktop in there. Mm. And we're going to try to have it painted and everything. Then the hoops are still in good shape. We're, we're going to redo them, but we mm -hmm. can save those. And the fundraiser you're doing right now, though, is to benefit the Martinsburg Rescue Mission. Yes, That's it correct. is. Yes. Yeah, how come you selected the rescue mission? Well, we talked to uh, Pastor Tim. And if you've ever talked to Pastor Tim, you know he's a great guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he needs more energy, though. He doesn't have enough energy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they don't take any uh, anything from the government. Right. And um, so it's all donations. So we decided, you know, this was a good organization to get involved with. So we started it last year. We talked to Pastor Tim and uh, got it going. And we were very successful. And hopefully this we're just as successful this year with it. Okay, and, and recap it again. When, when is uh, it going to be? I guess it's this, what, Saturday? It's this Saturday, March 23rd, yeah. from 7 to 3, and you can drop off stuff at the Ruritan Hall. And if anybody has any questions, they can call uh, the numbers 304-263-3090. Uh, that's for hall reservations, and for uh, questions about the uh, donation drive, it's 681 Three eight nine zero nine one seven. And what kind of items are you looking for again? Well, we're looking for non-perishable, non-perishable foods, cleaning supplies, paper supplies, laundry supplies, and personal hygiene items. And we're also going to take gift cards, five dollar uh, maximum value for gift cards. Okay. So, so in in regards to doing your projects and and, and whatever, uh, how many reasonable? How many can you do in a year? Oh, we've got, um, in April, we have the scholarship dinner. April 13th, we have road cleanup on Tuscarora Pike from 81 to Poor House Road. On May 10th, we're having our spaghetti dinner. On August 12th, we have our annual club picnic. O October 19th, uh, we're working on a haunted trail for Halloween for, for, for the people. December 7th, we have a cocoa and cookies with Santa for the, for the community. Then on December 9th, we have a Christmas dinner. and So you're pretty active. We try yeah. to be active, yeah. We've we got we a have, lot going on. Yeah. Uh, this may have been 65 years for the Tuscarora yes. Rural Tan Club being in existence. That's pretty incredible. I'd say. Mm -hmm. Going for 65 years. And we have one member that's been there almost from the he's really short two months yeah. he joined two months after it was joined after it was started and he's still there with us so he's a young fella oh yeah, yeah he's just a young guy he still <laughs> does and he still does a lot with the club yeah yes. he's very active at it yeah 
So to become a member, you said, hey, just come to a meeting second Monday of each month. What time are those meetings? Uh, they start at 6 o'clock. All right. And that's the meal. And, the and meal, then the meeting. And then the meeting, nice. yes. Nice. So now I come to the first one. Um, I'm just kind of checking things out, seeing how it goes. As far as becoming a member, is there an official membership, uh, you know, the uh, pinky promise? Uh, what what kind of <laughs> things go on then to become a member? Yeah, we make you go out and run through the woods. Is that <laughs> 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 no, there's just a uh, form you fill out, and uh, we uh, put you in a room, box you off, then we vote on you. All right. You <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's a pretty simple task there, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. looking for people. I mean, most people. I don't think we've ever turned anybody down. Nah, you thing. just... As I know of since little, I've been there. A little easier than Joe Pesci's process to become a made man, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't work out very well at all. No. no. Yeah. no. Uh, what can you do to get more young people involved? Uh, we've talked about that. We don't know. <laughs> we haven't figured yeah. that one out yet. Well, it's, it's difficult. I mean, if you're young, you, you tend to be... You're kind of busy anyway doing your own thing, getting used to working and whatever. You may not have a lot of free time or service isn't necessarily on your mind because you're still trying to, to get up and moving and whatever. But uh, clearly there is a need for more young people to volunteer. Oh, yes. We have uh, talked about that. And, and we have... We do have a lot more than what we did have. We, we, are, we are turning that away. In fact, another thing we have... We have... It's an all-male club. We do not have one woman member. We would look to act to have some young ladies. or Guys, what's the problem here? That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just a we, bunch of dudes hanging around. Right, when we go to cook anything, it's nice to have a few women. So, <laughs> uh, so, so what? has to run the place. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what, what happens? You guys look at your wives and one guy goes, why don't you invite your wife? No, not me. How about you? No, not my wife. Who's going to be the one? Who's going to be the one? The wives look at us as a way to get rid of us for one night. <laughs> exactly. They don't want to come on board. Maybe no. that's the thing. Now, to be fair, our wives do help out with spaghetti dinners and the, with the projects that we have going on. They do help out with that a good bit. So. They just don't want to have to sit through the meeting. Yes. They get they get their break. For you guys get your break. They get It's a good deal. Yeah. What's the most ambitious project that uh, you've been involved in, Ted, to try to – Raise money. This basketball court is the biggest thing that we've done. How much do you think it's going to take to do that? It's going to cost almost ten. Ten thousand. Yep. Hmm. To get it done, that's a that's a big deal for us. We don't we don't have any large fundraisers. Everything we do is small f fundraisers. We're trying to like we're, we did uh, most everything we do is with donations. We do spaghetti dinners all donation. We don't charge anything. Mm -hmm. Are there dues for members in any way? The yes. dues are minim okay. minimal. It's seventy five dollars to join. Right. But that, each, that's right. Isn't but it? each member at December when, when we pay our dues we also throw a little bit of extra in for mm -hmm. for like for like the scholarships, right. for like the the checks that we write to different organizations and yeah. all. So yeah, we helped uh, what Meals on Wheels last month. Yes. Yeah. We gave right. them a donation. So they do. Good. Meals on Wheels does really good work. They uh, they put them all together. I guess out of King out of King's daughters, and mm -hmm. they do good work. Excellent. Well, hey, uh, thanks for coming by. Is there any other message you wanted to get across here, Parker or Ted? No, just uh, if anybody wants to drop anything off this Saturday, we'll be there from seven to three at the uh, Tuscarora Roar Tan Hall. And that's located again where? At eighty three sixteen Tuscarora Pike, Martinsburg. Very nice. Right before you, right on the left before you get into Nallville. Between so, how much are you, how much are you hoping to raise on this one? I'd like to do at least take in at least three thousand dollars worth of stuff this year. We had forty one people drop off stuff last year, so yeah. hopefully that'll that'll be bigger this year. How do nice. you remember that? Got it written down right here. <laughs> it's got notes, can Ted. You, can you give the address again where people can drop stuff off and what the time frame is to drop stuff off? He's got sure. notes. It's 8316 Tuscarora Pike, uh, and the time will be from 7 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And what what day is that? Or uh, March This Saturday, this March Saturday. 23rd. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, yeah. very good. Hey, guys, thanks for coming in. Oh, thank thanks for, for having us. us. Yeah. Yes. Appreciate you bringing in some uh, sweets there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice of you. Tell your, tell your wife thank you. Yeah, yeah I do. <laughs>